in this video we'll try to understand how to solve problems on auto cycle and we have prepared an excel calculator also for this so let us first see the problem statement over here so in an ic engine working with the auto cycle the cylinder diameter is 250 mm and a stroke is 375 mm if the clearance volume is 0.00263 meter cube and the initial pressure and temperature are 1 bar and 500 degree centigrade respectively then you have to find out the value of air standard efficiency and mean effective pressure of the cycle the maximum cycle pressure is limited to 25 bar now the excel calculator which we have prepared for this is given over here so we have the input data is shown over here so the user will input the data in this particular column so diameter is 250 mm then stroke length is 375 mm clearance volume is 0.0026 meter cube initial pressure and temperature they are 1 bar and 50 degree centigrade maximum pressure of the cycle is 25 bar and gamma is 1.44 air so when the user input this data then directly he will get this particular answers so stroke volume or swept volume in meter cube then compression ratio efficiency in percentage p2 p4 and the mean effective pressure so let us start with our solution part if you want this particular excel calculator then you can definitely contact me so let us start with the solution part over here so it is the the data first we'll write down it is a auto cycle diameter is given as 250 mm we have converted it into meter so it is 250 into 10 raised to minus 3 so that is 0.25 meter stroke length is 375 mm or 0.375 meter clearance volume is 0.00263 meter cube initial pressure is 1 bar now conversion of 1 bar into kilopascal is bar into kilopascal you have to multiply the bar by 10 raised to 2 so p1 is 1 into 10 raised to 2 kilopascal or kilonewton per meter square convert the temperature into absolute value so it is 50 plus 273 that is 323 kelvin then maximum pressure is 25 bar or 25 into 10 raised to 2 kilonewton per meter square now vs is the stroke volume so that is nothing but the area of the cylinder or piston into stroke length so it is pi by 4 d square into l so find out the value of stroke volume over here substituting the values of d and l so it is 0 0.018407 meter cube compression ratio is v1 upon v2 that is vs plus vc upon vc now it is advisable to uh, to watch our previous video in which we have done the derivation of auto cycle so that you can easily understand the formulas that we are using over here now substitute the values of vs and vc over here vs is 0 0.018407 vc is 0 0.00263 and vc is 0 0.00263 so it is 7.999 or 8 approximately 8 now Using this, we can easily find out the air standard efficiency of the auto cycle, which we have already derived in our previous videos. So, efficiency of the auto cycle, which is dependent on compression ratio and gamma. So, gamma is 1.4 for air. So, if you substitute that value, then it is 1 minus 1 upon 8 raised to 1.4 minus 1 multiplied by 100. So, it is 56.472 percentage. Now, you can easily find out the value of mean effective pressure. For that, first we will find out certain values. So consider 1 to 2 adiabatic or isentropic compression process according to the law PV raised to gamma is equal to constant. So apply this to the state points 1 and 2. So we can say that P1V1 raised to gamma is equal to P2V2 raised to gamma or V1 upon V2 raised to gamma is equal to P2 upon P1. But we know that V1 upon V2 is nothing but the compression ratio that is R. So this R raised to gamma is equal to P2 upon P1. So we can say that cross multiply by this P1 over here. So P2 will be equal to P1 into R raised to gamma. Now P1 we have converted into kilopascal, so it is 1 into 10 raised to 2. R we have calculated as 8 raised to 1.4. So P2 value you will get as 1837.917 kilonewton per meter square or kilopascal. Then you have to consider 3 to 4 adiabatic or isentropic, isentropic expansion process according to the law PV raised to gamma is equal to constant. So again P3 V3 raised to gamma is equal to P4 V4 raised to gamma. So P3 upon P4 will be equal to V4 upon V3 raised to gamma. But in case of auto cycle we know that V4 is equal to V1 and V3 is equal to V2. So that is nothing but V1 upon V2 and V1 upon V2 is not, nothing but again the compression ratio. So we can find out the value of P4 in this particular case that is P3 upon R raised to gamma. Substitute the values. So value of P3 is 25 into 10 raised to 2. 
value of r is 8 and gamma is 1.4 so that will get the value of pressure after expansion as 136.0235 kilonewton per meter square now v1 upon v2 is same as v4 upon v3 is equal to 8 so we can say that v1 is equal to if you cross multiply by this v2 then it is 8 v2 and v4 is equal to 8 v3 but v3 is nothing but v2 because it is a constant volume process constant volume heat addition process so we have obtained v1 in terms of v2 similarly v4 also in terms of v2 now this will be useful for us while solving the or while substituting in the formula of mean effective pressure so mean effective pressure is given as work done divided by stroke volume and work done is nothing but the area under the curve and the area under the curve over here is work done during expansion process minus work done during the compression process so work done during expansion according to the adi adiabatic process is p3 v3 minus p4 v4 divided by gamma minus 1 similarly work done during adiabatic compression process is the formula is p2 v2 minus p1 v1 divided by gamma minus 1 and stroke volume is given by v1 minus v2 because vs is equal to v1 plus v2 so vs is equal to v1 minus v2 so just substitute the values over here v3 is nothing but v2 so and in place of this particular v4 so here it should be v4 now v3 is equal to v2 and in place of v4 we are having v1 because v4 and v1 they are same so in place of v1 it will be 8 times v2 in place of v2 as it is correct here also in place of v1 it is 8 times v2 and here also in the denominator in place of v1 we are having 8 times v2 so now we will take v2 common from numerator as well as from the denominator and cancel it from the numerator as well as denominator so p3 is 25 into 10 raised to 2 8 times p4 then p2 1837.917 8 times p1 divided by gamma minus 1 over here and this is 8 minus 1 that is 7 so we will get the value of pm as 133.529 kilonewton per meter square or we can say that divided by 100 it will get converted to bar it is 1.33529 bar so in this way we can find out the value of mean effective pressure and efficiency in case of auto cycle and we have prepared the excel calculator also for this so that you can easily calculate the various values if you are having your own values of pressure and other parameters thank you very much for watching